Grammy winner, singer, gospel powerhouse, American Idol alum, Mandisa, who passed away suddenly at the age of 47. She was one of the brightest lights on and off the stage. Janae is back with her story. Good morning again, Janae. Good morning again, Robin. Broke my heart when I heard the news. That's what Jennifer Hudson posted after learning of Mandisa's passing, and it's a sentiment shared by so many, as there are still so many questions about what happened. Tribute pouring in for Grammy-winning gospel artist Mandisa, who was found dead in her Nashville area home Thursday. Her team releasing a statement writing, At this time, we do not know the cause of death or any further details. We ask for your prayers for her family and close-knit circle of friends during this incredibly difficult time. Hey, what's your name? Mandisa. Mandisa what? Just Mandisa. It was during season five when the California native wowed the judges during her soulful audition on American Idol. Sometimes I love you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Placing ninth with her powerful vocals, Mandisa Lynn Hunley's rise to stardom was only beginning. Her debut album, True Beauty, seizing the number one spot on the top Christian albums chart in 2007. Fans drawn to her relatability. The singer opened about her struggles with depression and weight loss, something she wrote about in her book, Out of the Dark. Part of the process of me coming out of the dark is learning the power of talking about uncomfortable things and how it, we really have to in order to be healthy. Mandisa releasing five albums throughout her nearly two decade career, performing and producing music with Christian themes like Overcomer. A song encouraging those facing adversity. The music video featuring our own Robin. That was a song that helped so many people. Yes. You're allowing yourself to be transparent. You're letting us in. Totally. Yeah, I realized as I started to share this story, I started to hear from people who said, I'm just glad to know I'm not alone. The album of the same name winning a Grammy for Best Christian Music Album in 2014. The music world now mourning the singer's untimely passing. Jennifer Hudson sharing, she was truly a woman of faith, a bright light that made such a powerful imprint on this world. Paula Abdul telling people, I'll always remember her poise, grace, and dignity, and how could anyone forget those incomparable vocals? And country star Taylor Hicks writing, she was a powerhouse vocalist, and she graduated to a wonderful career in gospel music. Better yet, she was a powerhouse person, and all of us will miss her dearly. Mandisa was 47 years old. So young. And when she was here discussing her memoir, she said that she hoped it sparked conversations about her mental health and uh, to, led to healing. And, and Robin, the day that you returned from your medical leave mm -hmm. and she was here singing Stronger, which you said really helped you get through. There's mm -hmm. a, a, a part in a clip of you holding your sister's hands. Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Dor yeah. yeah. And, and you guys are all singing along. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I know that Mandisa meant so, so well. much to Oh, that. my gosh. She meant so much to so many people because she helped a lot of people, myself included, during a very very, very challenging time. And she was very open in talking about her, her, her issues that she had and just really thinking about just all of her loved ones, yeah. Yeah. her loved ones. But thank you. Yes, that was a special morning when she was here for us. Yeah. So, 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 so Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you.